Balmer series are transitions of electrons to or from the n equal 2 orbital of the Bohr model of the hydrogen atom that produce the H alpha, H beta, H gamma, and H delta unique set of visual band wavelengths in either emission or absorption. Now the Balmer series also has two other wavelengths in the ultraviolet band in addition to the H alpha, H beta, H gamma, and H delta visual band wavelengths, but we're only going to focus on the visual band wavelengths in this example of the Balmer series. Now here we're looking at the idealized Bohr model of the hydrogen atom. In the center we have the nucleus which has a net positive charge. There's only one proton in the nucleus, therefore to make the atom neutral an element on the periodic table, then we would need to put one negatively charged electron in one of these orbitals. If the electron were located in the n equal to 3 orbital and made a transition downward to the n equal to 2 orbital, then that electron would emit a colored photon and that emitted photon would be the color red. It would have a wavelength of 656 nanometers and we would call that H alpha. If, however, the electron were located in the n equal to 2 state and moved upward to the n equal to 3 state, then the wavelength that the electron would need to have to move upward is 656 nanometers, but it would be in absorption. Whenever an electron makes a transition downward, it's called emission, and you're going to emit light. Whenever an electron moves upward, let's change our pen color, when the electron moves upward to another orbital, that's called absorption. The electron would need to absorb a photon to move upward. If the electron wants to move from the n equal to 2 to n equal to 3, it would need to absorb a red H alpha photon of wavelength 656 nanometers to move it upward. If it was in the n equal to 3 state and fell down to the n equal to 2 state, it would emit a colored photon of red and that would be H alpha in emission. Let's take a look at H beta. If the electron were located in the n equal to 4 state and then transitioned down to the n equal to 2 state, since it's going downward, it's going to emit a colored photon. And the color it's going to emit is this greeny blue, so it's a teal color. If, however, the electron were in the n equal to 2 state and absorbed a 486 nanometer teal blue H beta photon, the electron would move upwards to the n equal to 4 state. Let's look at H delta. H gamma, I'm sorry, H gamma. H gamma is blue. And if the electron were located in the n equal to 5 state and transitioned downward to the n equal to 2 state, it would emit a blue photon of wavelength 434 nanometers, which we identify as H gamma. If the electron, however, were in the n equal to 2 state and made a transition upward to the n equal to 4 state, then it would need to absorb a blue photon of wavelength 434 na nanometers to move upward to this n equal to 5 state. And similarly with H delta, if an electron were located in the n equal to 6 state and transitioned down to the n equal to 2 state, it would emit a violet colored photon of 410 nanometer wavelength, and we would identify that as H delta. If, however, the electron were located in the n equal to 2 state and absorbed this purple or violet H delta photon of wavelength 410 nanometers, the electron would then move upwards to the n equal to 2 state. The electron would need to absorb or emit this exact numbered wavelength to either emit that wavelength color or absorb that wavelength color. It must be exactly 656 nanometers, 486 nanometers, 434 nanometers, or the photon must be 410 nanometers. 
We call this transition to and from this n equal to 2 state the Balmer series.